Hi, welcome. It's Jill and Jess here again. And um, we've been doing some live crafting over on our Facebook group, Come Crafting with Jill and Jess. And uh, we each uh, cased a project from each other. And um, we've um, split our videos into two. So you might have already seen Jill uh, case uh, one of my projects, which was a gift box. And um, lovely. And uh, in, uh, in this video, I case one of uh, Jill's very bright, clean and simple cards. And um, so I case this card, but make it very different. So um, uh, let's see how we do. Fabulous. So there we are. I'm down. Look at look at me nameplate I made. Yeah. In my favourite colours. Very nice. Right then. So I can see that I'm in. So I'm going to make this. So um, Jill's made this a few times. And um, this was last Christmas's, wasn't it? Yeah. And she made a similar one the Christmas before. And every time I look at it, I think I'm going to do that. It's so lovely. Um, I'm going to change it completely. I'm going to turn it into a birthday card. And I just wanted to show that this style you could use with any bunch um, that's about that sort of size. So I'm going to do it this time with the balloon punch. And um, I'm just going to use the largest balloon. Uh, that's similarish size, slightly smaller. Um, and I'm going to obviously put a happy birthday um, sentiment on it. I'm going to go with bright colours and I'm going to go with the current in colours. Uh, I thought they would look quite nice. I'm going to use um, the one I dislike the most. <laughs> well, I don't dislike it the most, but I'm using Magenta Madness as the um, sort of the, the base of it. Uh, but obviously you could change these colours and they would work um, with, um, you know, whether you're going to send it to a, a boy or a girl. Because um, I thought this would be a nice kiddie card. So I've got a normal card base here. This is our thick Whisper White, which Jill was saying about using thick very vanilla and it being lovely. And um, I use them for card bases. Um, and so I've got my normal mat size, which is just a quarter of an inch shorter and thinner. So the card base is five and seven eighths by uh, four and an eighth. So I cut this to five and five eighths and three and seven eighths. And then I do a double mat. So then that one gets cut down to five and three eighths by three and five eighths and it's taken me years to remember that <laughs> that's not written down anywhere no. that's just in my yeah. <laughs> and I, I like to be a bit frugal with my card mat you're not going to see the middle of that so I'm using the happy birthday dies from well written um, to get the happy birthday so I've just die cut them out of the, the middle of this because you're not going to you're not going to it's see a really it. good idea i never do that i'm so wasteful with cardstock uh, well i'm i'm just tired yeah. no it's no it's a good <laughs> idea because it's not cheap our cards i mean it's lovely but it's no. not cheap so if yeah. you can reuse so it th yeah absolutely i mean sometimes i'll sort of gut it completely but you know, yeah. I could get some I don't like, I've tried effect. gutting it completely, but I always, I always get a bit of a ridge or you can vaguely see a shadow through it. I don't like doing that, but just cutting the words out, yeah. I'm going to plonk something on top of it anyway, it would be fine. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So that's sort of the basic sort of setup. And we're going to have sort of happy birthday um, going along the bottom, kind of just fits in. And then I want balloons. So where Jill has done it with trees, I'm going to do it with balloons. Now this is um, a stamp and a punch that match so you could do it if you had those we don't currently I don't think have a stamp that goes with um, the balloon we used to but I'm just going to cut them anyway now it's a it's a double punch um, but you can just feed it in the one side so that you're not wasting card again so I'm just going to do one of each I was going to do them all um, with the circles but I haven't got enough paper left over in all the circles so I'm going to do two in the circle and then three in something else I think I was frantically looking whilst you were 
yeah Whilst yeah I would, I would like it noted that usually i'm the one that's really disorganized and jez is really organized and today i was the one that had their project ready and jez two minutes before we came online was still thinking about what she was going to do i just yeah. i just like yeah. that noted today <laughs> <laughs> it was my birthday i must think this to me so these ones are going to have to be out of this wood, one. Wood grain. I don't think that matters. But I've virtually used my whole packet of... Um, yeah, I've used loads of that paper. Loads of it. Um, that one I haven't punched very sometimes, well. It's because it's too about. close to the edge, I think. Sometimes it, you don't get enough tension on the punch if it's too yeah. close to the edge. I'll ditch that one so I don't end up using it. So yeah, so really quick with a punch. So it's a really sort of quick card, I say, and it didn't take much to die cut the um, the words either. So then it's just a matter of deciding um, which way round I want to do it. Um, Jill's put the middle, the middle one is the one that matches the cardstock that's gone underneath, which I think is a good idea. So I'm going to do that. And then these ones sort of match. So they'll go that way. And then these two on top in the front. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. These colours do go well together. I'm going to move them up a bit because I need to fit in me happy birthday. Oh. Anthony's saying playful alphabet is, the alphabet is on his wish list. So that must be um, your Nigeza he's seeing there. Yeah. 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 Good. Good, that alphabet. Yeah. I do like mm. it. I do like it. And and I like this. I mean, I've got the large letters from years ago and um, they're, they're quite big. So you're kind of limited to how many would go across a card. Yeah. So um, my sister actually used them. We got together the Halloween weekend and she did... Um, she did a card I made a few years ago where I used the um, silhouette effect and um, a friend had four letters in her name so um, yeah that's all right <laughs> so that that, that works yeah. yeah they're still not as nice as the large letters that we had a few couple of years ago yeah yeah I do, as I say, I do have you thrown like away the, the dot on the eye yeah, yeah, I always do. I always do. And um, I've um, what I do is I like to stick a gem oh, in right, the eye. Okay. So I've got. So I'm, I'm doing yeah. that. I haven't, you know, I, it was a deliberate oh. thing because not, normally I put a gem for that. Not like eye. me then. I'm always throwing the dot away the end and having to die cut another one to remember to get to yeah. save the dot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to stick my happy birthday on first, so I know how much room I've got. And um, Jill does quilling mm. and um, she uses a cocktail yeah. stick when doing little things like that. I've got one of these little glue pots and I bought these in like a pack of 10 for not very much money. And um, it's got a really fine needle. I have got one of those as well. I do use one of those for, a lot for quilling. But yeah. for, for doing them... Um, fine die cuts I quite like just sort of rolling a cocktail stick and spreading the glue out quite finely we, we all have yeah. our little ways don't we we're making we it do. work we do. I like this as well because it does actually stop me using yeah, too much glue yeah, and with combo, does. you don't need much because it's so strong yeah and he's saying that pesky dot yeah yeah absolutely absolutely and I, I never remember when I'm die cutting, I never remember till I go to stick it down and think, oh, God. I've... And I can't tell you how much it annoys me when I see somebody who's done a project and not put a dot on the eye. Oh, <laughs> no. No, I always put the dot, but I do it. Um... Yeah. Actually, if I had um, the markers, you could just draw a little dot on, couldn't you, mostly? Depending on what you're, yeah. what you're sticking it on. If you're sticking it on Whisper White, you could easily just draw a dot. But I haven't got those markers, yeah. so... <laughs> No, I haven't. I I um I normally buy the in colour markers, but I um I haven't yet. I haven't got the ones for the 
you know, yeah. the other ink colours. No, no. I don't tend to use my markers now that we've got blends. I use them for stamping with. So I quite like to stamp different Oh, colours. no, what's Ewan saying? I've got, got a comment here. Hang on a sec. I keep disappearing on my iPad. Um, just finished my slow, Snowflake Splendor style gift box. Can't decide what to decide I should go with for the card. I don't have the balloons. Oh. Ah, uh, well, if you got the Snowflake dies, my other thought was to do yeah. it with Rainbow Snowflake. Yeah, that'd be nice. That was another thought I had. There we go. So I've, I've done that. So now I'm going to stick my balloons what, on so I can see how where they need where, to go. What glue do you have in your little glue pot? Tombow. Oh, you just transfer Tombow into it. Yep. That's why it's coloured green. Yeah. So I've got them, I've got different ones in them. So that one's coloured a different colour because that's got tacky glue oh, in yeah. it that comes up that colour. And then this one is just clear. So that's oh, right. another glue I use. So I use different glues for different yeah. things. I use different glue for quilling because it's very bad form with quilling to, to see any glue marks. So you have to yes. be really careful with the glue that you use and use tiny, tiny amounts. Oh, Karen, yeah, Karen's that. saying she's gone with the gleaming punches. So a card, hang on, a card oh, to match the um, box. Oh, with, what a good idea, yeah. Karen. Oh, that's, that's yeah, brilliant. Yeah. yeah, and baubles. Yeah, yeah no, well, I, yeah, my box has got bit baubles on it. Yeah, fabulous. Right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to space that out a little bit. I'm trying to get the same space. <laughs> Anthony them. says, tidying my craft drawers as I'm watching. Surprising how much mess one person can make. <laughs> We've oh, all been no, there. Yeah. We've all been there. And Should have seen the state of my desk yeah, two minutes before yeah. I came I've been try I've tried to have a New Year's resolution at the beginning of um, November, a new month resolution. To, that I had to tidy my desk every night before I went to bed so that I came down to a clean desk every morning and it lasted about three days and then hopeless, yeah. hopeless. I, I, I must admit, there was one time when I tidied, I think it was before the last live that we did <laughs> and I tidied my desk and, um, and it was, I remember walking into the craft room the next morning and it was like, oh, I've got a tidy <laughs> desk, how did that happen? <laughs> I'd actually forgot. Mm. It's so nice to come down in the morning and my desk is tidy and I can start work straight away without thinking, oh, where's that? Where's that? Yeah. So I'm going to put these up. On oh, Ladonia's Don Don saying that she likes my box or your box or the box. The box. <laughs> the box. <laughs> That's really, that works really well. I, yeah. I, um, I did some crafting yesterday because it was my birthday and, um, I actually found myself putting away as I went oh, along. Doing the Sam. Now, now I've got to decide, do I want the yellow next to the cinnamon cider and the blue next to the green or the other way around? Oh, um, Don, you missed the start of the live. Um, there, there is a video on um, Jez's channel if you want to watch the whole thing or this video will be up at some point. We'll put the, we will put this video up on YouTube so you can, um, you can watch later. So which way around? Oh, I'll do it the other way again. I don't think it really. Actually, the other way. I don't like the yellow next to the brown. I think the other way. I think it has to be that way, yeah. Yeah, I think so too. I think they're too similar otherwise, aren't they, really? So, put that one on there. The comments on my iPad are driving me nuts. They won't stay on. I might come down a little bit as well. <laughs> and me saying he usually waits for the SU fairy to clear up but it doesn't often work uh, have, you, have you seen that um that thing on Facebook where this guy this woman is uh obviously their partners and um he she's about to tidy something up and he says no 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 don't do it he says wait watch and he says I leave things on the table and then by magic they get cleared away <laughs> And obviously she's yeah. doing it. She's just looking at him going, are you serious? <laughs> Magic fairies come. Yes. My son has just moved into this flat. And um, I spoke to him last night and I said, what have you been doing? He said, it seems like I just wash up. 
<laughs> so, yeah, well, they haven't got a dishwasher and of course before when he was here he'd just you know have something to leave it on the side it wouldn't even make it into the dishwasher yeah about you know whatever and now he's realizing how much washing up just two p two of them can generate and he's he's yeah. not working and so his girlfriend's working so it's down to him when we arrived we went to see him just before lockdown last week and he greeted us with i've just finished hoovering the stairs and i was like Words uh, I never thought I'd hear Joe say. <laughs> yeah. Well, we don't have a dishwasher. Oh. And uh, there was one year we went to Centre Parks and um, we'd upgraded from the normal, the normal one, and um, it had a dishwasher. And it was like, well, that'll be redundant. So much for the upgrade. <laughs> And my eldest went, oh, it's all right. I know how to use a dishwasher. We had one in my, we got one in my <laughs> yeah. student house. So it was like, oh, great. So that's your yeah. job for the holiday yeah. then. Don't, is to, uh... don't you think students have it a bit cushy these days? I mean, when my girls went, they had their own room with an ensuite. When I went to college, I shared a room in halls. I shared a room along a corridor. We had a sink in our rooms. We didn't have an ensuite. And we had two yeah. baths, two baths and two loos at the end of the corridor. And there were eight of us yeah. on the corridor. So there were two baths and two loos for all of us to share. I, I can't, still to this day, don't know how we managed. I mean, no. um, but I just think that now they but, expect, you know, they won't have anything less than their own room with an ensuite. I just think. Sweet. I know. Well, when I was a student nurse and I lived in the nurse's home, we had, uh, well, there must have been about 20 of us on a yeah. corridor. And we had... Of the baths were like you would go into a public toilet with rows yeah. and um, there was rows of baths yeah. as well and you just had a little yeah. plywood door. Yeah. I hated it. I hated having a yeah. bath. There's no choice though, weren't any showers. No, that's right. I had to I had to mm. do it. That's really nice. But I like that. There we are. That's, like that. that's my that's my case. My case of that. <laughs> Val says, my dishwasher is my husband, but like all things, it needs boot, boot yeah. up sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, Ed does most of the washing up in this house. So. There we are. So I'll come back on. Yeah. So thank you for joining us. I hope you um, uh, liked that project and uh, feel like making it yourselves. And as I said, you can do it with all sorts of uh, punches or die cuts and uh, change the, the effect. And if you haven't already watched Jill casing um, my gift box, then please do go and have a look at that. And if you'd like to see the entire video um, with all our little chatter, then uh, pop along to our Facebook group, Come Crafting with Jill and Jez and join in the fun. Yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Thank you, bye. Bye.